we're going to try this NMR problem. They've given you the molecular formula and they've given you the proton NMR spectroscopic data and then our job is to come up with the structural formula. Okay. Well, can I, I wonder, um, should I do it without the, the chart? Do you get to use the chart during the test? I think so, yes. You do? Yeah. Oh, well then go ahead and yeah, use any, uh, any helps that you'll get uh, during the exam. Obviously you want to try to use some of the techniques that we were using when we worked on these problems previously.
Still working? Already done. No, no. Okay, good. That seems like a good process. I'm glad to see that you remember to calculate the degrees of unsaturation. We should always start by calculating the degrees of unsaturation. 2 times the number of carbons plus 2 plus the number of nitrogens minus the number of halogens minus the number of hydrogens. So that would be 2 times 4 plus 2 minus 9 minus 1 divided by 2 here, which was 0. Mm -hmm. What does that tell us about the compound, that the degrees of unsaturation is 0? There are no pi rings and there are, or there are no uh, pi bonds and no rings. That's right. No pi bonds and no rings, we know in this case. step. It's good that you calculated the n for all of these cases using the n plus 1 rule. So the n is always one number smaller than the multiplicity of the splitting here. All right, that's good. Now, this is one where, and that, it looks like you started by figuring this out by fragments. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Now, here's maybe the most elegant way to do that. We can start here. Here we have a single hydrogen. Now, we notice that here we have a fairly left-shifted chemical shift. That puts us in this region where we expect the hydrogen is on a carbon that's attached to an electronegative element. Well, there is only one electronegative element here, so we would expect that to be bromine. I wrote EN for electronegative element here in this right. little chart. And again, EN for the electronegative elements here. Now, N here, is, so what are these two atoms over here? Well. The only thing that's left is that these have to be carbons. Mm -hmm. These two things have to be carbons. And in fact, in a sense now, we're already done. Our, well, not, not exactly. But anyway, this is uh, n equals 5. Mm -hmm. That means there should be five adjacent hydrogens. Well, really, the only way for that to happen is if there's three hydrogens on one of the carbons and two hydrogens on the other carbon, okay. right? So I know I can say put three hydrogens on this carbon and two hydrogens on this carbon. That's really the only way to get five adjacent, five adjacent hydrogens. Correct. And now, what else? This has this carbon has to be attached to one more thing. Well, it can't be attached to another hydrogen because that would mess up our sextet over here. So it has to be attached to a carbon because that's the only thing left in the molecular formula. And if you pay attention to what the atoms that we started with, this carbon has to have three hydrogens because those are the only things left. We've, uh, we've assigned everything but the last three hydrogens now. So I put the last three hydrogens here. So this is an interesting problem in that you could figure out the entire structure just based on this one absorption and the molecular formula. We can figure out the entire structure just based on this one absorption and the molecular formula. All these other absorptions here are just confirmation of what we already know. Now, I don't think you worked it out that way, and that's okay. You still came out to the right answer. This is the answer you got, right? Uh, yeah, I did. I guess I just connected it differently. Mm -hmm. You didn't write it in the straight line. I you don't need, that's not a ratio you had before. I changed it, because huh? this is what I had initially. Oh, okay. Oh. This is what you had initially. Yeah. All right, that's what I have on the board, right? Okay. I just happen to have written mine in a straight line, and you have a little curve okay. in yours. But if you match up all the atoms, they, they all match up exactly. Yes. Okay. 